Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome to my latest video. Today should be a quick one. I got this product in today that I need. Actually, I need it for like three different computers if it works. It is a converter from a USB 3.0 to a one gig ethernet. So let me open this up and see what's in here. Oh good, I'd have to tear the bag. Easier to return. Comes with a little instruction booklet. Just to let you know what it looks like here. Here's the product. Super Speed USB 3.0 to Gigabyte Ethernet. See how it goes. Well, it looks like I can do a tear on it. I don't think they'd mind it if I returned it with the tear done, do you? Let me go ahead and do it and see what it looks like. Well, okay, I guess. It's got a little label on here. Let me read this first. It says drivers can be downloaded at www.cablecreation.com. Put that up here so you can take a look at it. I hope I don't have to put drivers in. Um, I saw that online too when I ordered it from Amazon. What is this here? It's really like a, a thank you card and it shows you about the support. They don't tell you anything about using it or anything. There's a QR code in the back. I guess that'll bring you to the product pages for this. It's called Cable Creation. It says Gigabyte on there. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to go to that website first. So let me go there first and see what it looks like. Is there drivers that I really have to install here or not? Okay, so what I've done here is I've gone to the website. Looks like they have quite a few products. I wasn't sure if Cable Creation was their company name or just a model name. So I guess it is the company name. Let me go to Support, Drivers and Downloads. Oh, there's a lot here. Uh, let me see if I can put in the product number. I'll just put in the SKU that's over here. There's one in the case. CD0026. I'll hit enter. What do we got? Okay, so USB 3.0 network adapter, Windows XP 7, 8, 8.1, 10, Mac OS. Driver link. Let me click on that. Hmm, the Realtek USB. You know, that should already be installed with Windows 10. It looks very familiar to me. Okay, I'm not going to install it right now. I'm going to test it first and then see how that works. So the computer I'm going to use is this computer back here. Now, it already has a 1 gig Ethernet. But what I'll do is I'll unplug that, put this in place, see if it comes up and connects to the Internet. I'll also check my router over there to make sure it's coming in at 1 gig. And then we'll do a quick test of the speed. There's a big difference between uh, the 100 meg and the, uh, and the gig. So I'll be able to test that by just doing a regular internet test. See what my download and upload happens to be. So let me go ahead and do that next. Okay, I got the computer turned slightly here. And it's already powered on. So let me disconnect the other network cable. I have this 90 degree connected to keep my cables nice and trim. And I'll just plug this into one of the USB 3.0s. Actually, the card that I added into this thing. Let me go ahead and just connect it up to one of those and, and see what happens. There are no lights on it to indicate that it's connected. But let me connect uh, another cable that I have, another internet cable. Here we go. Plug this in, see if any lights come on then. Oh yeah, there's, a, there's a, some green lights that are coming on back in there. Not sure if you can see that on the camera or not. Let me zoom in. So you actually see a little green light there inside of there. Let me go ahead and take a look at the port. I know that that cable I had was port two on my switch. So we bring the camera over there and port two is right over here. So it looks good. It shows that it is set up for one gig speed according to my switch. That's what this the bottom light indicates. I have only one that should would be without it and that's my printer, my laser printer. So you see one over here that's without the bottom light on. And that means it's only running at a hundred meg. Okay, so that all looks good so far. Well, let me go ahead now and do a test and see if it works at one gig. Okay, so it actually is good because it just popped up the remote connection. I don't have the keyboard or the mouse or a head or a monitor on this one, so I remote into it, as I've shown in previous videos. Let me see if it'll connect. Oh, good sign. It's asking for a password. That's a good sign. It's logging in remotely. And we're in. Okay, let me go ahead and see if the Internet's working, first of all. Well, it definitely comes up. Let me go to Google. And let me do internet speed test. Now I have a 300 download speed. So if this thing were running at 100 meg, I should only see that to one third of what I normally would get. So let's see what the speed is when I run it. 
Wow. It looks like I'm getting to 300 or very close to it. Close enough. And now the download is about 30 something. Yeah, there we go. So it seems to work. Looking good. It definitely is not 100 meg. Well, that really concludes this video that I wanted to do on this quick little USB 3.0 to 1 gig network adapter. It seems to work fine. I'll probably buy a couple of more of them because I have a couple of computers that are older ones that only go 100 meg. But this worked fine. I still have it connected up over here. Let me unconnect it and see what we got. Is it warm? It is a little bit. I can feel that it has been used right in this spot right over here. But it's not hot. Okay, so that, uh, that's my quick review of this Super Speed USB 3.0 adapter. If you got something out of this video that you found useful in any way, if you could do me a favor and at least consider subscribing to my channel, that would be really helpful. And also give me a like while you're at it. Well, take care until the next time, okay?